Howdy everyone! So this may look like a beautiful autumn day, but we are actually in the middle of the summer, in the Rocky Mountains. And the reason why it looks so mystical right now, it's because we are at 8,000 feet in altitude. So sometimes we are above the clouds and sometimes we are in the clouds, which has been the case now for the last two days. But fortunately today it didn't last and the fog finally lifted up and we could see the sun. And the good thing about these foggy day though is that it's a good occasion for us to stay inside, do the things we have to do, and it also brings a beautiful hydration to Mother Earth because we live in a dry environment, so any humidity is welcome because it allows nature to rejoice and replenish itself. Here is one of our morning ritual. We love to start every single day with one liter of lemon, ginger and honey water. It allows us to get hydrated on a cellular level, but it's also a very good drink to awaken our mind and energize our body. And on top of that, it has lots of vitamin C and vitamin B. So that's what replaces coffee for us. Uh, lemon water is always followed by 16 to 24 ounces of pure celery juice. This medicinal herb for us has been such a miracle. For me, it has entirely healed my digestive issues that I had for so many years as it helps to rebalance the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. It is also a natural anti-inflammatory. It's full of electrolyte. It has lots of vitamin C. So truly, it is a miracle juice for us. Getting our medicine in. Yeah. And it's kind of sweet today, huh? it's not because sometimes <laughs> celery juice can be extremely bitter. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, this one is kind of sweet, so you can pound it without without too much bitterness. And 15 to 30 minutes after drinking our celery juice, we make our breakfast smoothie, which is the heavy metal detox smoothie. It's a recipe that has been created by Anthony William, the medical medium. So we always make sure to make a big quantity. We normally get at least 32 ounces each that we will zip on all morning. It has specific ingredients that helps to chelate heavy metals from your body. And for us, it has totally lifted up our brain fogs that we had and other health issues that we were carrying around. So we will put the recipes in the description below so you all could try it at home because it's very delicious.
and making a beautiful hatch chili, roasted hatch chili, cilantro, pesto, or <laughs> hummus. I wish I could share some with you all, mm. but we can share the recipe in time. <laughs> it's very delicious. And this was our lunch for today. It's an amazing homemade wrap filled up with cilantro greens, microgreens that we made at home, some tomatoes and some seaweed. It was exceptional. What are you doing, my love? Oh, I found a bunch of wild strawberries mm. for us. Oh, I think I can see them. Hey everyone, we're back again. Great to be with you. I just returned from my trip down south to our tropical property that we've mentioned 
and had a really productive trip, got a lot done, handled like a lot of finishing details, paint, colors, and t inside and outside paint colors. Mm -hmm tile, interior and exterior. We have a big screened in veranda and outdoor living space, kind of plant nursery greenhouse area that'll all be screened in and tiled. So beautiful, expansive outdoor living space. Being in the tropics, lots of critters. So nice to have the, the screened in areas. And we made some changes on the house, you know, adjusted the bathroom and the kitchen a little bit and added a carport. So that'll be really nice and functional for when it's in rain season, where we're in somewhat of a tropical rainforest and definitely rains really hard portions of the year. So grateful to, to have those amenities um, added on to the property. For what I've heard, it's been a very productive trip for Travis and if I had had my green card at that moment, I would have been with him, but it's perfect that Travis could take care of it and just look up all the details and everything that needed to be done. And now that Travis is back, we're going to start attacking the wood for the winter. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start preparing for the fall and winter time to come here, cutting and stacking and you know, supplying all of our wood. I've got a couple of DIY projects that I'm going to be working on just to make the house a little bit more comfortable for us and take care of just a few things that have just needed to be buttoned up. Yeah, and we're still in August and we're starting out cutting wood because last year we had a snowstorm at the 1st of September. And also during the winter, it was the first time that we were heating only with wood, with the wood stove. And we were not prepared enough. And three, at least three to four times during winter, we had to go in deep snow to cut some dead standing trees and split them and bring them in the house because we needed more fuel. So this year we want to be prepared and have much more than what we need. And it's also nice. It's a good exercise and it allows us also to clean the forest because we live in a dry environment. So any um, dead standing. Yeah, that's standing or uh, logs that are on the ground are fuel for wildfires. The more we clean the forest, the best it is. And it's good because we actually use all these dead trees and we bring them home and we use them to warm up the house. So that's a nice cycle and it feels very satisfying to do that. Yep. As Emily was saying, uh, it's, it's no fun to have to go out in the snow and the wind and, and cut firewood. So fortunately, we'll be well ahead of time this season. So great to have you all. Uh, thanks for staying tuned. And uh, as we continue on our adventure together. Yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our video because there is much more content to come. Yeah. Lots of love to everybody. Yeah. gonna fill up that shed with wood today today and probably for the days to come
you start with a big one? Again. You will start with this one? Yeah. Thank you.